as the privacy issue rises in concern, as you see it with the 28 nations of Western Europe, uh, imposing basically a rule that says that, that in order for you to, to have access to my cookies or the data about me, I have to opt in. I have to agree to allow you to use that. The current system in America is you have to opt out if you don't want access, if you don't want someone to have access to your cookies or, or your data. And it's very cumbersome and confusing how to opt out. But if, in fact, we move to the European system where you have to opt in, you could basically say, you could imagine a Facebook saying at some point, you know, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll compensate you uh, for access to your data. Because without the data, they don't sell 97% of their income uh, on, in ads. Uh, Canaletta, what about that? That what's really happening is the change in metrics and the ability to see how people are reacting to advertising and the media environment that surrounds the advertising. There's no question that the ability to target or the digital world gives you many more tools to measure. For instance, when, when um, I wrote a book on Google some years ago in 2009, and I began with the story of the head of, then head of CBS, Mel Carmazon, going out there trying to sell them a Super Bowl ad, and Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the co-founders of Google, were sitting there and describing to, to Mel Carmazon, uh, you know, it, we will be able to tell just as Lisa just said, uh, who has watched the ad, how much time they spent watching the ad, and whether they actually purchased something because they watched that ad. This is a question that I want to pursue with you in just a moment.